So I ordered these uh, <coughs> valve spring compressors. And then I didn't realize that they only go down to uh, three inches, and up my uh, pistons are two and five eighths or 68 millimeters. So what I did with this is you can see it's a ribbed one, right? Here's the original holes for the little clippy thing, and this is like 15, 16 inch difference. I don't really think it matters much, but all I did was just grind these little pop rivets off the rigid from the original pla placement, place this, drilled a couple holes, utilized one of those tools, you know, the pop rivets that, you know, had a price tag on them from 1987. Obviously that came out of my dad's toolbox that, you know, that things you'll never use. <laughs> well, but you keep. But that one day that you will use them, and last week was that day. So anyway, like I said, grind it off, put new rivets in, and now it gets down to two inches. And I tried this out on my old hip, the, my old piston, one of the pistons I have, put it in there, put some, put the old rings in there, compressed it all down, and it slid right in just fine. And as you can see, they're only and a half wide. Oh, just a smidgen under, inch and a half. So it should work just fine when I do when I get to the point where I can actually put my pistons back in. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there in case anybody buys one of these. Which is uh oh yeah, made in Taiwan, of course. This is the one, one the new one, this is the one my dad got like freaking, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago probably. Basically the same thing. Did the same thing to this one too. So now I have two that'll work. Alright, that's all I got for now.